One of the challenges of using a dedicated astro camera is that it's actually pretty hard to view your images because they tend to be saved in the FIT file format. FITS files are kind of like RAW files if you use a DSLR, but they're much harder to work with and there's almost no applications that can even open FIT files. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a free, easy way to view all of your FIT files whenever you want to. This is going to work for both Windows and Mac computers. And I want to thank Mike Gaskell. He's the one who informed me of this new update that we're going to be taking a look at. So again, thanks to Mike for letting me know about this because I've actually gotten quite a few questions over the past few weeks on this very topic. Now, the way I was doing this for the past year was with Deep Sky Stacker. However, this is only for Windows users. So if you're on a Mac, this isn't any good for you. And even if you were on Windows and you're using this, you know, if you open up a FIT file, the preview itself isn't very good. I mean, it works in a pinch but it's not the best option. It's kind of just a temporary thing. And beyond that, there's a lot of random applications you can use. There's some also paid applications you can use, but today we're gonna to be using one from ZWO. If you wanna download this, you can go to ZWO's website, go to their support tab, and then click on software. At that point, you'll be on this web page here. And then what we're gonna do is choose ASI Studio. They have both 64-bit and 32-bit download options depending on your operating system. If you don't know and you have a fairly new computer, it's probably 64-bit, so go with that one. And for those on Mac, of course, click on the Mac button. Same thing, you can download the new ASI Studio, which was released in late 2020, the latest update that we're gonna be using. Either way, once you've gotten the latest version of ASI Studio installed and ready to go, then you can follow along with us. And I've got that right here. In the past, they only had planetary, deep sky, and live stacking, but now you'll notice we have the new FITS viewer, which works pretty well. As a quick side note, if you are looking for a way to control your dedicated astro camera, this is one option. It's not the best, it's pretty basic, but if you don't wanna buy an ASI Air Pro or maybe a sharp cap license or anything else, this is just one more thing you can try. Anyway, today we're looking at the FITS viewer, and as you'll see, it works pretty well. We're gonna click open FITS, navigate to our directory and then you can choose whatever folder you want in my case we'll go with the horsehead nebula today i've already got everything organized into my light frames and you can click on any photo you want for example i'll just click on this random b frame and then hit open now that i've done that i can go full screen and over on the right i have the full directory listed which is a nice feature if you want to change to the next photo you can either double click on it and it will update or you can hit the arrows down here, left or right. That'll go one by one and allow you to scroll through the photos. If you want to take a closer look, of course, you can use the plus and minus buttons here to zoom in. And this would be a great way to just go through and see if your photos are actually sharp or whatever you need to do. For example, if you find one that's blurry, you can come in here and just hit the trash can and get rid of it. This is much better than Deep Sky Stacker in terms of the fit viewing options. You can even go down and click on the histogram and adjust it. By default, it's set to auto, which should kind of stretch the image a little bit. And in this case, I don't have a problem with it. If you had a color camera, there's also, I think, an ability to debayer the images, but I don't have a color camera, so I can't verify that. At the end of the day, it's a pretty simplistic application, but that's really all we need, right? Just a quick way to come in here, double click on a photo, scan around, check for any problems, and go on from there. And that's all I've got for you in today's video. Like I said, it's fairly short, but I have had quite a few questions. And I think this is a great way, if you were having trouble viewing your FITS files, especially on a Mac computer, now you can download the latest version of ASI Studio and come into any directory and take a look. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks again to Mike, and I'll see you guys in the next video.